I've got my list of countries that, that on, have agreed to roll them. over. That, there them. are nine. Wow! And let me let, let me remind you what did <laughs> Lee, what did Liam Fox say that the day we leave was it forty or sixty? That's forty. Forty, 40 trade yeah. deals ready to sign. Yeah. Okay. So that's yet another fantasy that's fallen by the wayside. So give me the nine countries, Ian. Uh, Norway. Good country. Iceland. Nice country. Caribbean countries. How many? Lots of them. Oh, lots of Caribbeans. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pacific Islands. Lots of them. Is that Vanuatu and places like exactly. that? Exactly. Super. I Israel. Israel, important That's country. That's a big one. Palestinian Authority. Palestinian Authority, great supporter of that one. Switzerland. Switzerland. Big one. Yeah, big-ish. Yeah, big yeah. one. Yeah. Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands, yeah. yeah. Uh, Usually get drawn against Scotland in the Euros. Eastern and South Southern Africa. Right, so you're making my point for and me. And Chile. You're making my point for me. Well, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm just giving you the fact that 9 out of 40 what, what, have signed. Wait a minute. What which is not what they said would happen. I completely agree with right, you. Right, and what happened recently? What was the last trade, trade deal that the European Union signed? Japan. Japan. Yeah. A big one. Yeah. Is Japan, as a country, going to be more or less interested in trade with the European Union or with Well, I don't a, think it's an either-or, is it? I think there's I a mean, bit of either-or. When you look at Britain as the fifth largest and, and economy about, in the world, what, they, about, they would... I mean, I think they're, oh, they, sure. are, they are, what, the third or fourth Certainly Japan. So the it's third. in their interest as well to sign For one sure. with the fifth. For sure. Yes, of course. But the European Union is a collection of 27 I know, I, some of them I do very sizable economies i do know that i'm just saying to you if you're a tra if you're a prime minister of japan or you're a trade negotiator in japan which of those two markets is more important it's not an either or i'm afraid it is no it isn't and it really say, isn't and let me ask they've you, already signed one I with the just eu just go back to nancy pelosi did you see what she I said i did the other say day? what she said the other right day. did you not think that was quite significant not particularly well no. i think it was i think it was because i didn't think it was surprising no, I think it was surprising. I think it was significant that a senior figure in the American political system is basically saying any threat to the Good Friday Agreement and you can wave goodbye to the sort of trade deal you're talking about. So we're going to have to rely on Donald Trump. Well, and I, we know I don't think, I don't think that deal. is surprising at all because okay. Congress has always been difficult about signing off any trade deal. What we can agree on is that it's incredibly complicated, very, very we difficult. We can agree on that. And this idea and that you just walk away... And it's going to be easy. Forget it. And, and we that's can also for agree that we're going to a break.